Hi and welcome to another tutorial in the Unity UI extension project. In this video we're going to be focusing on the new radial layout control. This is a way to have spherical style layouts for UI controls. This is something we've been sought after since the very beginning, but this is just the first iteration which allows for radial placement around a central game object. In the future we hope to offer rotation and also have a radial flyout kind of style control. So let's have a look at the control. Now, like other layout controls, this is going to need a canvas. And then we'll simply add an empty game object and call this our radial group. OK, to this, I'm going to simply add some simple elements. So I'm going to add some images and just for fun, I'm going to give it the So we have Sprite and we'll scale this down so it makes it a bit more yeah, and then we're going to duplicate that duplicate that a whole lot of times. So you can see at the moment is that all the all the, everything else is laid on strong, but like any other layout group, simply add the radial layout group to this. And we got several options. Obviously at the moment it's aligned it straight to the middle straight away. That's because all elements are drawn in the middle. The way that we change this, we have this F distance, which basically signifies the level of distance between the center and the control. You can set this as large or as small as you like. So I'm going to set this to about 75. We can then have the both min and max angles for how long, how much this will actually rotate around the central point. From, from zero to 360. Up to you exactly how much. You can also change the start angle. You can also then you also use this animate start angle to also animate. In fact, I'm going to take this up to 100. So we can control each of these things. Uh, we can change the alignment. Especially this is more important if there's more square objects that are being rotated around. But at the moment, this only will simply draws them out in the same space around the central object. It doesn't rotate them, doesn't change them. So that's hopefully one update we're going to try and look to put in. We can set padding around this as well. So it can make sure the fact that any other objects that are placed near it are all aligned. And you've got the same, same snapping things. So as you can see, it's quite a powerful control itself. We can either remove or change items and it'll automatically update all on the fly as you, as you, as you want, as you, as you would like them. Ah. So anyway, that's the radio layout group. Hope you enjoy it and hope you contribute to the project and keep it going. All right, until next time.